In 1917, Fritz, Ernst and Werner Schlup opened a watchmaking workshop in their family home in Lengnau. Under the name Schlup & Co., the three brothers marketed hand-wound mechanical watches. In 1928, Schlup & Co. registered the brand name Rado at the Federal Institute of Intellectual Property in Bern. According to legend, Rado means wheel in Esperanto. Not far from the German Rad or the French Rue, this term refers to one of the essential components in a watch movement. During this period, the Schlup factory assembled and finished watches, which are delivered primarily to an American market, sometimes without a brand name, sometimes under other names, and sometimes under the Rado brand. Due to the fierce competition on the American continent, the management of Schlup & Co. set out starting in 1957 to explore the potential of new markets in Asia. They traveled to China, Thailand, the Middle East, South Korea, Japan, and even India. This pioneering spirit continued into the 1980s. In China, Rado was one of the first foreign brands to display advertising on the streets and to broadcast it on national TV. In South Korea, Rado equipped the Seoul subway lines with some 1,500 clocks bearing its logo. Nineteen fifty six marked a turning point for the brand, with its consistent inscription of the name Rado on all its watches. Four years later, Schlup patented two elements. First of all, an embossed symbol in gold on a red background. There were two differences of opinion about what it represented. Some saw it as a symbol of a Swiss anchor, to others, it was a beam of the earliest radars. But one thing was clear if this quality indicator stopped, it was time to have your watch serviced by a certified watchmaker. The second patented element was a sealing system for the watch cases. From the waterproof watch to the diver's watch, Rado needed to take only a single step with its Captain Cook models, equipping them with a rotating bezel. Dire star means as hard as a diamond and as bright as a star. This evocative name summed up Schlup's vision, to offer its customers a timepiece of timeless beauty and durability, thanks to a sapphire crystal and a hard metal case. The result? The birth of a scratch-proof watch. In 1971, the Schlup company became part of the General Watch Co. holding, which in turn became part of another holding company called Asiwag. As a result of a series of mergers that began in 1983, Rado is now one of Swatch Group's watch brands. From its very beginnings, Schlup has been based in Lengnau. In 1975, a new production and administration building was inaugurated. Two years later, the company changed its name to Rado Watch Co. Limited. 1985 marked Rado's entry into the world of tennis. The brand installed its first corner clocks at the Swiss Open in Gstaad. But Rado's support for tennis goes far beyond timekeeping. It has partnered with promising talents with its Young Star program, accompanying them in their pursuit of perfection. Some of these inspiring players have become superstars. If we can imagine it, we can make it. And if we can make it, we will. Dating back to 1957, this management vision took on its full meaning in the early 1980s. In a single decade, the company marketed five iconic models with an avant-garde style. The Anatom, which featured a tile-shaped sapphire crystal with a metallic edge, became known for outstanding wearer comfort and its perfect fit to the wrist. A few years later, the Coupole watches made their mark with their domed sapphire crystals. As early as 1986, Rado's pioneering spirit explored the art of ceramics with the creation of the first bracelet links for the Integral models. Four years later, the Ceramica with its distinctive design in high-tech ceramic 
made a strong impression. At Rado, the choice and integration of new materials are endless. For example, the Sintra watches are made from a composite of high-tech ceramic and metal, which a few years later would be given the name Ceramos. Starting with the Ceramica and Sintra, Rado watches have received recognition in international design competitions for their technological innovation and iconic designs, and to this day continue to win numerous design awards. Since 1962, Rado has chosen its materials for their durability and timeless beauty. In the scientific world, the resistance of materials is measured in Vickers, whose absolute value of 10,000 units corresponds to the hardness of diamond. Rado loves challenges and pushing the limits. Inspired by nanotechnology, the surface of the V10K is made of polycrystalline diamond with a resistance of 10,000 Vickers. This is the world's hardest watch. The choice of high-tech ceramics, hard metal or sapphire glass makes Rado the undisputed master of materials. Starting in 1986, Rado invited internationally renowned artists to create artworks featuring Rado watches. The most famous canvas in the Rado Art Gallery is a work of artist Andy Warhol, which was painted the following year on the theme of the Anatom. While it is keenly interested in the world of art, Rado is even more closely linked to the world of design. Design is an integral part of the brand's DNA. This is why Rado surrounds itself with established designers and promising young talents. Together, they reimagine the shapes of watches and achieve technological milestones, surpassing themselves and integrating their singular artistic signatures on watch dials and straps. From the revolutionary black in 1986 to white high-tech ceramic in 1992, the brand continuously extended its palette by adding pigments to its high-tech ceramic powders to obtain many different colors, including nine defined by Le Corbusier's Polychromy Architecturale. At the same time, Rado kept pushing its boundaries and its development with the Ceramica Plasma High-Tech Ceramic with the stunning result of gray metallic shine a treatment that creates a fiery environment with temperatures roughly four times those found on the sun's surface. With its watches in so many bright and vivid colors, Rado constantly demonstrates its talents in this artistic and highly technical universe. To date, the brand has mastered the pigmentation of about 20 colors. Rado continues to play a key pioneering role in watchmaking with its signature material, high-tech and colored ceramics. Rado's legacy of material innovation, which can be traced back to its very beginnings, still defines a great brand that has earned and continues to live up to its reputation as the master of materials. <laughs>